The Boxer engine might not be the first thing you think of when you hear the name Porsche, but it's arguably one of the most defining aspects of the brand. And in this video, we'll explore why that's the case, because if Porsche has been obsessed with this engine for over 80 years, we probably should be as well. Anyway, let's get started. Before we can understand why Porsche loves it, we should first have an idea of what a boxer engine is. There are multiple ways to arrange the cylinders in an engine. Typical layouts include inline engines, where the cylinders are in a straight line, and V engines, where the cylinders form a V shape. However, in flat engines, the cylinders are arranged horizontally on each side of a central crankshaft. It's like taking a V engine and making the cylinders completely flat. Anyway, the boxer engine is a specific configuration of a flat engine. In a boxer engine, the pistons of each pair of cylinders move inwards and outwards at the same time. This means the forces of each movement directly oppose each other, thus canceling them out. This cancellation of forces is a good thing for performance, which I'll get more into later. Now that we have that covered, we'll move on to Porsche's history with the boxer engine, which began before the company even started. And it might surprise you, the Boxer engine wasn't even Porsche's creation. It was designed by the German engineer Karl Benz, who patented the engine configuration in 1896, and that name should sound familiar. Later in the 1930s, Ferdinand Porsche adopted the engine into his car designs, namely the Volkswagen Beetle and the Type 64, which was the first vehicle of what was to become the Porsche company. Later, the Boxer engine was introduced into Porsche's production cars with the introduction of the Porsche 356. Then, its usage expanded into vehicles like the 550, the 912, the 914, and most famously the 911, which features a boxer engine until today. However, Porsche adheres to the boxer engine for more than the sake of tradition. There are numerous performance benefits that the engine provides that make it the ideal choice for Porsche's cars. Here's why. The first reason Porsche uses boxer engines is because of their effects on driving dynamics. Their flat design allows the engines to have a low center of gravity and balanced weight distribution. This supports a sporty driving style by improving handling characteristics for the driver. Additionally, Porsche installs their boxer engines over the rear wheels. This considerably improves traction because the added weight from the engine is over the drive axle. In fact, before four-wheel drive became a thing, cars with a rear-mounted engine were generally agreed to perform the best in winter conditions because of this. The the boxer engine isn't only good for acceleration though. Under braking, the rear-mounted, low-sitting, flat engine allows for more brake force to be applied to the rear wheels, thus providing impressive stopping power. Along with improved driving characteristics, the engine is also beneficial to performance. Boxer engines, particularly those with six cylinders, are incredibly smooth running. As mentioned earlier, the engines are very well balanced because the piston forces cancel out. This allows Porsche to create engines with very little vibration, enabling cars to travel at high speeds with minimal mechanical strain. Porsche states that the concept underlying the flat engine involves a consistent lightweight construction, a low center of gravity, an outstanding revving ability, and a high specific output. All 911 engines need to be sporty as well as suitable for everyday use. Another reason for their initial popularity is that boxer engines are good candidates for air cooling. The layout allows for an increased distance between the individual cylinders, which facilitates cooling by direct airflow. This fact allowed Porsche to keep the 911 air cooled until the 993 generation. At this point in the video, you might be wondering, if boxer engines are so great, why doesn't everybody use them? Well, not to spoil the fun, but it's not all good news. Boxer engines are typically more complex to build compared to an inline or V-shaped engine because more parts are needed. For example, the engines require two cylinder heads and sets of valves because of the horizontal layout. This means boxer engines are more costly and time consuming to manufacture and more expensive to maintain. Additionally, their stout and distributed shape and the fact that they're typically in hard to reach areas can make them difficult to service. But nonetheless, they are impressive and precise pieces of engineering and should be renowned as such. As internal combustion engines are gradually phased out, the boxer engine might become a thing of the past. Therefore, we have to appreciate them while they are still around. But now I pass on the discussion to you. So let me know in the comments, what is your opinion of boxer engines and do they live up to the hype? As a broke college student, I have very little to offer to this discussion other than the perfected fact-checked research I just provided you all. And I would love to know your thoughts. Anyway, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video, leave a dislike if you disliked the video, and if you want to see more of this kind of content, you could consider subscribing. Anyway, I encourage you to check out some of my other videos, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.